We've got a, a delivery, and this is this is something that um, is fairly adventurous. It is uh, it's something I've bought that's for the future in the build, and I haven't looked at it yet, so I thought I'd just just have a look. Screws and the winch handle, which probably gives you a clue what's in there. Beautiful, isn't it? Just stand that box out of somewhere. It's a Muir windlass that I want to mount on the mast horizontally, like, like that. I'll turn around to face you. So you've got the chain gypsy and a capstan for a rope, should I need it. They do come just with the chain gypsy, but I thought, well, maybe you need to pull a rope in as well. So that's going to going to mount horizontally on the mast with the with the anchor chain spinning down from it there, and it's Muir made in Australia. They, I believe them to be brilliant quality, um, and the design is very much in keeping with what Mr. Benford recommends for these boats. He also has a horizontal windlass mounted on the mast, and I have to say it's very exciting. I saw these. I, I've looked at them for years and the, the price is scary for me. But then I found a place in Germany, funnily enough, that had about what I thought was a reasonable price. So I thought, well, how long is that going to last? I better buy one. So, so obviously it'll be fitted somewhere down the road. A year or so till I get to fit in that. But um, it's there, it's in stock and I have to say it's beautiful. Looking forward to trying that out. <laughs> And that sequence about the, the windlass leads to a question perhaps and, and it's time for me to get perhaps a little bit controversial because I'm going to do something that not everybody will agree with I'm sure. The question is, so the windlass will be mounted here on, on, the, on the forward mast somewhere there um, and the question is where does the chain go? And I as I say, I'm about to get controversial. I have an objection to holes in my deck that lead down below. Plus the fact that this is a 32 foot boat and isn't exactly full of space. Um, and I am not going to lead it down below. I'm going to have a box on deck, which is just under construction. It's, it's, it's stood there loosely at the moment, but um, box on deck with a lid on it, catch, that the anchor chain will feed from that winch down into there and that'll be it. And I did something very similar on my last boat and it was splendid, it was just fine. So um, what we'll be doing, the anchor chain will be stored in here in this box, I say lid on it, and with that windlass there somewhere it will lead nicely down into that box. There's a bit of hand and that's where the anchor chain will be. Um, yeah, there we go. So that's in progress, box is under construction. I've, I've lined the inside out with a very heavy duty roving, outside just with normal cloth, epoxy, a lot to do there still clearly but made a start on that.
And then, perhaps the main thrust this week has been the deck up here. Make sure I can sit on now. Got it sanded, prepped up, um, and ready to go. One coat so far of, of epoxy primer on it, so uh, we've got a long way to go. On the sides, and I'll do the same here, we had six coats, so two of the white, and then two of the green, and then two more of the white, six coats in total. We'll be doing the same here. But, it's made, I've made a start. Good. that then. You may remember, I've got it all shut up there, but you may well remember that back in February I ordered some lights and, and the supply, I've got no complaints with the supplier, they were transparent, they told me what was going on. But they finally arrived yesterday, so it's taken about three months to get here, but I guess it's coronavirus and all of that. But that's the, the two lights for the cabin, look quite nice. Yeah, quite happy with those. They'll be up on the, the bulkhead between the four, four cabin and the main saloon. Very nice, so we'll be getting them in in a good few moments. All right, and guys, that's it for this week. Thanks for watching. Give us your thumbs up, please, or even better, hit that old subscribe button, and uh, we'll be seeing you next time. Bye.